Blog Talk Radio. Hello and welcome to tonight's episode. Andy and Amanda, how are you tonight? Yeah, good, good. A bit tired up yesterday still, Amanda. We had a long day yesterday, Colleen, because we were over in the top end of our room there. We called Rosendale yesterday on Rosendale FM Radio talking about all our writings. And we didn't anticipate how long it would take us to get down there. Yeah, because if everyone knows Amanda comes from it's Bradford, it was quick. Bradford's probably about twice the distance, but it was only twice the last time to get there. It just took it ages yesterday. Just, I mean, we're very tired of that last time. So. How are you, Colleen? You okay, Zoff? Yeah, let me just talk more about this uh, radio. So, were you interviewed on radio? Oh, yes, yeah, we were, yeah. The interview goes live next week. But it's on live on radio, but you get the, the uh, section of it going to a podcast next week, oh, it's called so-called Waffle, and it's run by a guy called Paul Jenkins. Now, I met Paul last year, actually, for um, a spoken label podcast, and we've been in tour for a couple of months, me and him, and that get me and Amanda coming down there to do an interview. We talked about our radio, we talked about our writings and stuff like that, and we did, what, about 40 minutes? Yeah, I did a piece on my Saturday book, you did yeah. a piece on my Yeah, we did our joint point together as well, so, oh, good fun, good fun. Hey, so, look. Where can we buy the book? Because you mentioned it two weeks ago. Right, Amanda's, yeah, Amanda's Santa book. Go on, Amanda. It's on Amazon exclusively. On paperback and Kindle. Is it out now? Yeah. Yeah, everybody. Twelve Deaths of Father Christmas is now out from now. <laughs> a nice, it's a nice seasonal uplifting book. Perhaps got some suitable for very young children. That's what my book, my book, the first author's been out for about a year now, so you can find that on most platforms as well. And what if you want to cite details again? Amanda? Yes. It's on Amanda Field, right? It's not called. I do a blog post, a blog post. I've got you put me in half an hour, Colleen. <laughs> one second. <laughs> well, not expected. My blog is one writer. That one as the, the wrote the word like oh you know not the number oh, the yeah. wrote in letters one writer at his PC full stop blog spot blog spot to me yeah the typing dot com so it's O N E R I T E R yeah and his correct PC, and his PC and, yep full stop blog spot blog spot and that blog spot like my key by page as well for the podcast yeah. Yeah. the other reason why I did it okay this is why I got a message from blog talk radio to say if it's over 30 hours on your site and you're not a paid podcaster then they will delete the the the, the, the more the older um, podcasts and uh, only leave 30 hours on on the actual site itself so last week, that's why I created it, actually, Andy. That's the reason why I created the... Uh, the no, it explains why if you think you, know, you do mathematics and this sort of podcast, and you tell me this, you do say it's under 30 hours. We're doing 15 hours a week, everybody. That would be like, what, an hour in, yeah. in a month. So basically, if you run out of space quite quick, and then basically understandable. Yeah, so that's why I had to quickly make sure that we, we had the podcast recording because there's a lot of useful advice, tips, suggestions in the podcast. And that's why I created that page because you can download the the podcast and then put it onto your blog. That's the other reason why. And the other reason is we've been doing the co-hosting and podcasting since 2007. And I thought, well, we have to like keep the recording somehow. And that's, that's the other reason. But yeah, yeah that's... Yeah. Makes sense. Makes sense. Like I said, like it's over listening to this stuff sometimes. Like we'll realise you play stuff back sometimes. A lot of information you give out in the writing can like stand the test of time. Not really. Like if we ask Amanda now about them, then you've got a big projects on Amanda Alamond, don't you? Editing. I'm editing something. I'm not going to make this book's going to come out with. That's why I've been like, how's it going, Amanda? Let me ask you an article clean. How's this editing going with this guy's book? Um, 
I love it to be professional, but there's a lot of things in there that I may not personally like or agree with the characters, but that's not my job to edit that. As long as I uh, make sure everything's connected and it flows right and there's no potholes and things. So, clearly, this will finish your point. I know, Mum, you came across her, uh, and we're not going to notice, we don't want too much depth because we don't want to die off every year. But I think it was a, you know, some depth in there, didn't you? Some yeah. Some language you're a bit yeah. dubious on. Things that might be for his but it could just be his audience. If that's the kind of things his audience find funny, then it's best to keep it in. But it, I, it's not, not something I would put in mind because I have a different audience. Yeah. Now, how would you feel about Fleeman if you were writing a book and there were some jokes in it that were certainly of a not for everybody, should we say? I usually tell them. I, I usually say, "This is the. This is the. This is what we have." Um, and this is from my experience. This is what you know happens when you put that in, and then you you say you you immediately um, segregate the book into a category. So therefore, you have to say from the start that it's for adults only, and that excludes uh, the majority of of your readership. So then I'd say, do you want to put that particular joke in the book or not? Because of what what I know. See, between us three, we have so much years, many years of experience of doing literary and, and book stuff. But I know yeah. I know what works and what doesn't. That's right. So that's what I would actually yeah, okay. I would do that. I would say that to the uh, to the person that you're you're, you're doing the biography for, biography for or doing the book for, and say. This is my clean fiction. I think it is definitely adult because there's some adult themes in there, so I don't think it's bad to get children. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> no. I, I, well, that's why I like it. And I also got a clean one. Well, I've learned a lot from working on some under this, where like a under when a manager does a magazine, you know, like, like if I, we both learn things from that all the time. Yeah, exactly. That's that all the same because we wanted to learn the field as many people as possible. Exactly. Which is great. I completely agree with that definitely. I'll have some different PDFs across you can see them on the Dublin magazines. That's in the link, it's worth a look. If anybody wants to have a look, go to the Dublin Man's magazine website, work with it because it's got three PDFs up on every magazine. Okay, what we can do. What we can do, we can just put an excerpt on the the blog, the podcast blog, so that they can actually see that as well. You see, that's what we can do, rather than just send it to me. We can put it on the blog, and then yeah. others can read uh, the excerpt. And if they're interested, yeah. then they can uh, go to Amanda's link. That that's how the blog page is going to work. Because it's mainly for us to say, you know, there's so much experience between us three that that this is the sort of thing that we do. And you can have if you want to know more, then this is the link. That that's yeah, that's how it works there. No, no, it's a good idea. It's a good idea. I'll, say, I'll get the link over to you. Yeah, you know, yeah. Yeah. Really what what have you got to do correctness wise this week, Lena? Anything to report? Yeah, very, very, quite a lot because I've actually been to one of my um, good connections and she's like a niece. It's so, she's so lovely. Her mum is absolutely wonderful. And that's music, audio, stories in Wimbledon. She's known. And she's got a massive following. We had a Wimbledon, we had a Wimbledon Times with us quite a bit because they know her and they like to be around when she's around. So, but I couldn't, I couldn't speak to Wimbledon Times about my work because I was actually going there for for a particular reason. So that's why. But yeah, that's that's what happened. Then also, I went to Remembrance Sunday and Remembrance Monday because I, I was uh, given an invite by the the local organ the local Royal British Legion organizer. Oh, brilliant! Yeah, and then, oh, you know, I paid. Yeah, no, I I think what what I also did was pay a tribute to a war veteran that I know who is part of my coffee set. Because I had a coffee set. For many years, I, you know, when you go to a particular place and you you see the same people, you naturally, obviously, become a like a coffee set for some reason. And he happened to be a war veteran, 
uh, well, he he fought in the Gurkha Wars, and then he became a highly esteemed publisher. And I was just about actually I was talking to him about this book that I was authoring. I said, Ennis, uh, I'll speak to you next week about it because I'm just about to get it all together now. So he said, Yeah, that's fine. You know, we'll, we'll talk about it. And then he just suddenly. I don't know what happened. He just suddenly went on to better pastures and not everybody, the whole oh, we've got ninety seconds remaining. The whole the whole the whole coffee set and everybody who knew him were really, really upset. So I said, Look, we can't we can't just leave it like that. He you know, he he's still there. And uh, I said, I'm doing I'm planting a tree, I'm planting a, a hedge plant in the um, local park. Next week, so I'll, I'll, I'll tribute. I'll make a tribute to him. You know, I'll, I'll plant it in, for him. And then, when I went to the Remembrance Sunday, Monday, I said I've got to do it for all the unsung heroes. So now it's like every day I remember him and them, and it's really important that we do. That, that's the reason why I said Andy. I sent you a message that Andy, we need to do Remembrance Sunday, and because I needed to say. It's not just those two days in November that remember all these unsung heroes. It's every day. Yeah, no, great, great. Three, three, six, six a year, or oh, three, six, five. No, great. I've got family in war, in war fleet, war fleet. So yeah, no, great, completely. Uh, uh, anyway, guys, listen, guys, we should take leave. It's the time here. We're going to have to call it quits in a moment, anyway, aren't we? So it's really good that you've that we've gone. We've done yeah. quite a massive, a lot of, of stuff this week, and. We've done quite a lot this year, actually, and in in the recent years. So that that that's what's come out of doing the podcasting for so long, I think. And you you know got a magazine editor and perform performing poet and yep. radio podcast musician. Yeah. Yeah. That's everything and everything and anything. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think so. I'm, I'm, I'm a no, you're not. You're creative. I'm a you're creative. You're a creative artist, that's what it is. <laughs> yeah, no, I agree. I agree. So, that's a new thing. That's a good fun, good fun song. So, uh, that, I haven't really come up yet, guys. No, well, that, that young lady, that lady who normally says anything, she, she normally says there's 10 seconds remaining, but she hasn't said that yet. So, I think once she says that, I know we'll get your feedback. I'd like to make very quick before we go then, okay, just so everybody knows, just to show you how. My life has changed the man to us. We're doing this podcast of my interview podcast on Thursday on as well with a, a, a sort of FM DJ. So we should try to do to the public as well. And we're just working for me and the man to try and get more opportunities for things. But what they like, is to, we always tell people the things like it's been creative. You always keep your eyes open for any sort of opportunities going all the time. That's why if you don't know what you can find. So, and Clean, you want to laugh before we go? Um, Amanda sent a submission. Of, Cross. Yeah, well, last night with you, that one, your horror stories. Oh, yeah, we're shocked. Yeah. Amazing. Amanda found a publisher, as I said, accepting two cents horror stories. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so basically, we've been sending her, uh, Amanda sent her, uh, I mean, her five across now. Yeah, brilliant. Yeah, but for an anthology. I've got two ready, and I'm going to try to do another couple, so I'm going to send you the link to see if you can do some writing of two sentence horror stories. <laughs> I'm not into, I'm more sort of like a, a, a nature person. I'm not really, I'm not really a horror story writer. I'm not. I'm not. I've got, I've got one story that was going to sweep in a number of them under Sunday or something, so I'll read it off my head, really. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't heard that lady, so I'm not sure whether we're actually on air or not. <laughs> well, we've been on there for 16 minutes. I, I think so everybody's still listening. I think we'll have to mention it next oh, week. I think we'll have to oh and I'll put it in the blog as well. I'll put it in the blog. Uh, yeah. just to mention, yeah. Okay then, so if you're still on yeah. it, if we're still on there, I'll say to everybody and from all of us and tune in next week. It'll be interesting as usual. 